Christmas lorry driver. He actually lives in his cab because he goes out on a Monday morning and he comes back on a Friday. He's really into motorbikes, he does own one. At the moment, it's not too good. It's in about 2,000 pieces. Hello, I'm Dave, 47, and this is my companion all week in the truck. And he's an ice dragon. And Jan, my wife, is uh, one of the Heachin Post ladies. So she's up early every morning, posting letters through uh, hundreds of doors. It was away one week. I came home, there was a six-foot poster and pat painted on the side of the one side of the shed, and on the other side of the shed, a five-foot Garfield. I'm John, 21, going on 22, and I'm a biomedical science student. John is a good old boy, as they say. He's got a lovely little girlfriend called Vic, who he absolutely adores. When he's home from university, he works in the shop, in the hypermarket, filling shelves and, and uh, serving customers. Hi, I'm Gemma, I'm 19. And there's Gemma. She's done ever so well. She was a YTS. She's now a supervisor. She's engaged. She engaged a young lad called Stephen Penn. They've been going together for about two and a half, three years, I should think now. Hi, I'm Jessica and I'm 15. Jessica, well, she's a quite a mixed up teenager. She's really into take that, but also Des O'Connor. She's got a trampoline outside, which we bought for her birthday about two years ago. She loves that trampoline. In fact, that she used to go out in a nightdress at seven o'clock in the morning to get practice in. <laughs> I think we are a normal family, but people on the outside say we're not. Because what normal family would have a six foot Garfield out in the garden or a scooter, cut up scooter outside? <laughs> Welcome to the big one. She said, I'm worried. You don't have to be worried. I promise you will enjoy yourself. Now, Dave. Yes. You're Dave Curtis. How come the others are large? Ah, ha, ha! Because when, sorry, I do think I was saying that. The large Curtis family. Or is it the Curtis large family? Well, it's the Curtis large family because I married Janice long after these were around. And they're all large. They're and you're Curtis. So, um, right. you have some kids your age? Yes, I do too. Jason and Lindsay. And where are they? Well, Lindsay's studying German in Austria and Jason's hard at work in King's Lee. Oh, right. OK, well, hello. Hello. I'm sorry you're not with us, but uh, we'll look after your dad for you. Now, whereabouts is it you come from? John, can you just point to the map, on the map? Oh, there we go. Thank you very much. And we'd like to know a bit about it. Janice, you're right on the coast. Yeah. Um, what's the beach like there? It's lovely now. It's all sandy. <laughs> and uh, we've got two beaches, south and north. Two beaches? Yeah. Oh, and we're on the east coast. On the east coast? Yeah, we're on the yes. east coast, facing west, and we get lovely sunsets across the sea, which is unusual. That didn't really happen, did it, really? That sounds well, so people tell me. That's quite wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> um, and uh, what, what's it most famous for? Famous for North Lavender. I could smell it, actually. I had to ask. That's wonderful. Now, we've got Jane. Are you all family all Jane? Yes. Um, well, the reason of, of the eight brothers and sisters, you see. Eight. Um, yeah. And when they, we all begin with J, so I thought I'd carry on, you know. What are the I have to start from the top. Oh, well, you start from the top then. Um, Joan won't like this from the oldest. Joan, Jill, Joy, John, me, Janet, uh, James, Jane and Jeffrey. You carried on with Jessica, John, Gemma and, and Gemma. Jessica and but some of the other brothers and sisters. <laughs> very confusing, but it's a very new remember, do you remember? But somebody doesn't give me a J, Carol Smiley. She is in now, so she will be with Ziggy Breakfast. But now, at ten minutes past seven, this doesn't begin with the J either. Welcome back to Big Breakfast, the only place to start your week. The yes, question about the desert was, what did she order for desert? And the answer was another plate of spaghetti. And that was a clip from You Can't Have Everything, and that's Channel 4's afternoon movie today. Oh, how beautiful. People will be watching that because you'll be off school today with this sort yes, of they will. It's uh, time now to ask you, though, do you want to win a British telecom phone fax and answering machine all rolled into one? Do you want to win it? Yes! yes! OK, well, if you've already got one, uh, you could actually use it as a shower, because as you can see here, being used as a shower. And uh, here's the number to dial. 0891 Thank you very much, Peter. Listen, we've asked everybody this morning about any cures for a sore throat for poor old Peter. Well, my cure is honey and lemon. Mine is don't talk. <laughs> That's going to be a little bit difficult for Peter, I think, somehow. Janice, the moment of family of the week, it's now time to know fab, family, fab. 
I'm not saying that. Sorry. Right, okay. Tell me what's the hassle of Um, I'm only a little uh, semi detached bungalow. On the beach? On the beach? About five minutes walk. Oh, what are you What job do you do? I'm a post lady. Yeah, on a bike. bike. On a yeah. bike. Yeah? Do you have a good time? Well, for a summer. You must have it. Mm, lovely in the summer, but not too good. You yeah. must sort of see some incredible things. It's always lovely. Yeah, really do. It's make me blush so you think about it. Oh, <laughs> why? Why are you blushing? What, what do you want now? I don't know what she's going to say. I wasn't expecting this. Go on, just tell us something that's not too rude. Well, I remember uh, taking the mail up one day up to the door, and the glass door, and this man had just come to take his paper out, and he stood there with absolutely nothing on. Glass door, and I thought, now, do I put this letter through? Because he's going to feel so embarrassed. So he sort of stood there reading it. <laughs> So I went and I hid behind the hedge and waited. <laughs> just so I put the letter in, you know, so I didn't want to be embarrassed. Oh, I was decent lady. Look, look. Make you me blush. <laughs> well, that she is. It's true, she is blushing a bit. Okay, family and be roll, please. Green, match the bathroom. Lovely. Is that the walls or the suite? The walls. The walls. Green walls. What colour bath? White. White. Very nice. White. I like that one. Okay, the worst family ornament? Um, <laughs> these. <laughs> these are awful. There's no, there's Hang on, there's another one. one here. These aren't mine, these are my husband's. <laughs> I'm not going to pass a comment. Usually I stick up for the ornaments. This time, maybe not. <laughs> okay, and the family food. It has to be the food. Is this the favourite family food? Yes. A roast. What's in roast? Ah! Oh no! Congealed. Oh, it always looks funny, so we like this food. Oh yeah. I'm going to get some crunch now with a big crunch. It's the Beano on video. Wow, we for the first time ever. And the question was what happened next? And the answer was Minnie took off, as you could see there. And that is from the Beano on video. And for the first time ever next week, and we'll be showing bits of that all week, which is a good thing as far as I'm concerned. And uh, now today's question of the day is Peter Smith's got a bit of a croaky old throat, so we want your granny cures, please. Uh, Chris Williams from Stockport, rinse the back of your throat with salt water, Peter. Uh, Liz Kelly from Tunbridge Wells, cure for sore throat. Take your sock off and wrap it around your throat before you go to bed. I've done that one and it does work and if it doesn't fit you to take it in, thank you. And uh, Nigel Wood from Chesterfield, uh, cure for sore throat. Vicks Vapor Rub on the knees and elbows. Hey, eh? Alright then, <laughs> doesn't matter. Cool and different and funny. Alright, 1985 double one to one. Back to 1985 double two double two. Double two. <laughs> now, it's the uh, time red special I gave to win this here. This beautiful, beautiful thing. Ours is pink, yours is like, you get the pink one, we want it back. But also send it back because it's got a hole in it because you dropped it the other day. And it's a phone and a fax and an answer phone. Hello, who's online wants to play the game? It's Tom Smithick. And how are you? All right, thank you. Very well. What? I'm very well, thank you. I'm very nervous. Are you, are you a bit nervous? Yeah. Oh, is that better? <laughs> yeah? Is that better? A bit more to the back, please. <laughs> is that better? Yeah, love that. Thanks. Right, uh, Gemma's here. Brand new family of the week. With huge big daughter things engaged in everything. <laughs> now, uh, clean up one from Gemma. Uh, to the washing line. It's a blue, blue tie. tie. So for that phone fax and answer machine, who do you think it is? A blue tie. Uh, blue tie. Uh, Don't be nervous. Come on. I'm tickling under your chin. <laughs> 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 it works, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so come on. Frank Bruno. Frank Bruno. Why? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> no, that's wrong, I'm afraid. Hello, who's on line two? Hello. Hello. Who are you? Nikki from Jersey. How are you, Nikki from Jersey? I'm fine, thank you. Is there a delay on the line? No, it's just right, my nerves. Right, let's get on with it then. It's my nerves. It's 731. John, what have you got for us? A grey sack. Grey sack. Yeah. Grey sack. A grey sack. Come on. Yours? Blue tie and a grey sack. It's a coloured grey, that's all we wanted to get on there. Really. Um, coloured grey and a blue tie, and the answer is? Lennox. Oh, what? <laughs> what? Why? What about? What? Why? Hello, hello, who's on line three? Hello, it's Tim from Toby Jim Wiltshire. Tim, do you want to win this? Yeah, love to. Okay, let's sort it out then. Jessica, what have you got? A red oh, herring, oh my goodness me. Blue tie, grey sack. John Major? Yes! yes! And John Major, of course, the leader of the uh, Conservative Party starts his conference tomorrow. You've just won this beautiful, beautiful thing. Right. Uh, coming up later, you can win that beautiful, beautiful thing over there. Yay! It's the car. Once again, we've got to give away a car day for the next two weeks. But now, Rob, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? I'm over here. Got to go inside to meet... This one is called Gabby. Gabby. And that one is Paula. Paula. The blonde Gabby one's Paula. Gabby and Paula. Oh, that's lovely. Well, you know. Okay, then. Uh, now, uh, what, what, what do they win normally? Uh, these. No, no, I'll double check. Oh, the people, they, uh, people, they, uh, people a bit like 50p. Yeah. 
Yeah, and uh, the wind still could. So it's like the spinning of the thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's that called, the spinning of the thing in the air, though? Wheel of Fox, Wheel of Fox, Wheel of Fox, yeah. Wheel of Fox. Anyway, so uh, we need people to say this, obviously, don't we? Yes, yes, okay, we need seven so people. We need seven grannies, don't we? Yeah. Who's up your grannies? Yeah. Any grannies? Oh, look at them! Oh, seven grannies! Hello, Hello. How fortunate! Hello, Hello, they're all right. Hello. Now, we're, we're playing for a gorgeous decanter. Um, <laughs> anybody know where it is? Oh, it's over there, well out of my reach. Thank you very much indeed. This is what we're playing for, this decanter. Oh, oh, you got your card? Yeah. Okay, now, of course, uh, I know that bingo aficionados, I'm sure, that, which there are many watching this program. Normally you have to have a full house or the pyramid game, three off the bottom, two off the middle, and one off the top, not that I've played it myself, obviously. Or lines. Uh, just, just one number, all you need is one number for this. If you have the number that the pitch make up, you've won the decanter. Oh, isn't it lovely? Okay, Mark, Martin, Paul, Paul and Gabby, you ready? Yeah, look looks like to me. Ready? Okay. Here we go. Oh, off we go. And it, no, oh, there's one. Out of number six, is he going to go back to in right now? He's got to come all the way. Your so number, six, 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 six is one. your first number. Now, if he just pokes his head out, it doesn't count. We're looking for him. Oh, of course. Looking at two. Looking at two. Looking at no, two. No, coming out of two. No. no. So we got a six. Four, four. coming out of four. No. No, just having a bit of a look. Just playing around with our time and our souls and our nerves. Come on, come on. Um, oh, uh, down, uh, come on. Down. Every time in rehearsal, ladies and gentlemen, I yeah. promise you this works. <laughs> uh, if you could... Who is it? Is it Paula? It's Gabby. Gabby. I was going to say, Paula's always late. Paula back in. If Paula comes out, that'll be the other one. Okay, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Get on with the girl. looking good. And that's it. That is, in fact, Gabby. Are you coming out? Go. Oh, four's out first. Okay. So, 64. 64. You've got it. You've won the decision. There you are. A great game for all the family. Thank you.